If you want to start making money with Amazon FBA in 2024 but are on a budget, this video is for you. When I got started selling on Amazon back in college, I didn't have much money and I know a lot of you guys are in the same boat. In this video, I'm going to show you the cheapest and fastest way to find products to sell on Amazon without running any ads, creating any products, buying products from wholesalers, or sourcing products from China and Alibaba. Online arbitrage, otherwise known as buying big name brand products from retailers like Kohl's, Walmart, and Target, then flipping them on Amazon FBA with proven sales history is the most simple way to sell on Amazon in 2024, and it's how I built a seven-figure business in my early 20s. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Miles. I'm a 25-year-old seven-figure Amazon seller on a mission to help as many of you guys as possible build a business or side hustle of dreams selling name brand products on Amazon this year. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to subscribe for more and let's jump right inside my screen to find some winning products. What I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do is use what's called the storefront stalking method to find products. This doesn't involve any complicated or expensive software. We're actually just gonna use Celeram for this. What storefront stalking is, is basically what we're gonna do is look inside the storefronts of other Amazon sellers to see what they're selling because it's reasonable to infer if they're selling a product and it, you know it's a Walmart product or it's a Nike product, for example, they're probably buying from other retailers and that's what we're trying to do as well. So what we want to do is find some arbitrage friendly sellers, then storefront stock to see what listings they're carrying and then go out and try to find those products profitable with proven sales history that we can sell on Amazon for a profit. Taking a look inside here at the Amazon product page, what we're going to do is look up great value right here. Great value I know comes from Walmart. So what we can do is just open up one of these listings here. And now the products that are selling this product are probably buying other products from Walmart as well. So now here on this listing, a couple important terms you're going to need to know to succeed as an Amazon seller. So right off the bat, this is what's called the buy box right here. This is where the sales are actually going to. This is where you want to be as a seller right here in the buy box. The next thing you're gonna to need to know is what sales rank is, otherwise known as BSR or best sellers rank. Seller amp here, which is the only software you're gonna need for this method, it's right here and it tells us the BSR is 36,000 for this product. As a new seller, you wanna stay below like a 150,000 or 100,000 sales rank because the last thing you wanna do as a beginner is buy products that don't actually sell, right? And so you don't need any expensive, complicated software to do this. All you're gonna need is seller amp right here and now, taking a look at the seller and profit calculator, we can see our max cost is what we need to pay for this item to be profitable. So if we go ahead and plug in $3.50 here, we can see that's going to leave $4 profit per sale and a 120% ROI on this specific item here. And this listing has a good best seller's rank and sells about 55 times per month. So if we can go ahead and pick up you know, 10 of those sales here, beer and price comparatively, we're going to be able to make 40 or 50 bucks profit per month on this product, depending on the performance here. Now, we're also going to see some other data on seller amp here. This ranks in prices is going to show just some more data, how many FBA sellers, how many FBM sellers, the Keepa BSR drops, the higher on that, the better, that's how many times the sales rank has dropped. Sometimes that indicates a sale, as well as the alerts panel right here, which shows that Amazon has never been on the buy box of this product and that it's not private label. We know this is coming from Walmart, for example, so this is going to be reseller friendly here. No known IP or intellectual property complaints, which is great. Standard size, and it's not meltable, and there's no variations. Now, typically in my other videos, I talk about using Keepa software as well. However, if you're, if you're on a budget, it might make sense to only start with Celeramp. So we're actually going to take a look at the Keepa chart just on Celeramp to gauge this product's performance. We can see this product specifically, we want to take a look at that buy box line. We can see the buy box is very consistently hanging out here at about 15 bucks. We can also see that over time on this product, literally the last year, the price has been really nice and stable as well. And then this bottom chart right here on Keepa is the offer count. We can see that that's nicely gone up and down. So we know that this product is actually selling, right? And if we go ahead and search great value on Google here, just by hitting the Google button on Selleramp, right? We can now go ahead and see that this product's coming from Walmart and these great value products are pretty much exclusively coming from Walmart. So there's a good chance that the sellers that are on this listing are gonna be carrying other reseller friendly brands, some of which probably come from Walmart as well. So scrolling down here, this is where we really wanna take a look at is the offers tab on seller where we can see all the other sellers that are carrying this product. Now, the cool thing is we can also see not only who's selling this and what fulfillment type they're using, whether that be merchant fulfilled, shipping the products directly to the customer, or FBA shipping the products in bulk to Amazon, FBA definitely being better, that's where we wanna focus. We can also see their stock count, 
as well as their price. And then the profit they're also going to make on a product, depending on the buy cost that you enter in in Celeram, which also factors in Amazon fees, shipping, sales tax, product costs, literally everything. So Celeramp takes care of that. And it's about $20 per month and you can get a free trial on our website, selleramp.com as well. So you can literally start doing this today without putting any money up front, right? So now we can go ahead and see all these FBA sellers here. We can see this seller is at 15 bucks, has 98 in stock. This seller's got uh, 3,600 reviews and has 24 in stock. We can go ahead and open up these sellers and now we'll be able to go ahead and take a look at what they're actually selling here, right? So opening up these seller storefronts here, right? We're now going to be able to see all the different products. So we don't need to just do the FBM sellers as well, or just do the FBA sellers. We can also do the FBM sellers here, right? And now really quickly, guys, we're now going to be able to see all the different brands these sellers carry right here, right? As well as all the different categories these sellers carry, right? And then we can scroll through these sellers pro, uh, storefronts and see all the fast selling products they carry right here. So for example, these Under Armour socks are a 40K rank. These Under Armour socks are a 190K rank. That's a little bit higher and such. So we can rock and roll through these different storefronts here and see this seller, for example, has a bunch of great value stuff, which is probably going to be coming from Walmart as well. So we can filter in and click great value here. And now we can take a look at all their fastest selling great value products. Like for example, these great value cappuccino products, they currently don't have a BSR, which a lot of sellers get afraid of. However, we can see they do have 63 reviews here, right? And then the Keepa chart shows relatively stable price action as well, right? So now we would just wanna go ahead and click the Google button and see what this is actually selling for. So we can see this is currently going on Amazon for right around 25 bucks here, right? So we need to pay $12 or less for a three pack here, right? So taking a look here, we can see $4.47 here, right? If we go ahead and open up this listing here, we're going to be able to see that's not quite going to be profitable, although it's going to be pretty close here, right? So we can see going for about 25 bucks, what we'd want to do here is it's three pack. So we can go ahead and plug in $4.47 times three here, right? So we can see that would be just about break even on this product. However, we can go ahead and take a look at the Keepa chart and see if the price has been profitable over time here and see that there have been times when this is like 28 bucks or even 29 bucks just in the past few months here. So now if we go ahead up here and plug this in, right, we can see that's still only about three bucks profit. So we're going to pass on that item specifically here. But right, it's all about just finding a good storefront that has a lot of fast selling stuff and then going in and taking a look. And we can see some of these are coming up red as two or three percent of the category here. I don't really worry about that for grocery because grocery is a much slower selling category and a smaller category in general, right? So even like an 80K rank can be fine as long as you're seeing movement on the Keepa chart here. So let's see, let's plug in these electrolytes here. We can see $2.42 a piece here, right? 13 here, this is actually going to be pretty close as well. So let's see, 242 right here times six. So let's see, 242 times six right here, right? We can see about a two bucks profit, 15% ROI here not quite good relatively close you could use a walmart credit card here and get another five percent off just with that cash back um and such here which puts it about three bucks profit not quite going to be good there um we'll take a look and see if uh this product has been profitable over time which we can see buy box has mostly not existed don't be afraid of listings with no buy box just means amazon's thinking it's selling a little bit uh higher than it should be so it doesn't really promote it with the buy box right there um so we're going to pass on that here Right, so we can see, we'll take a look at a couple more of these listings, probably take a look at some other sellers as well. Let's see, this is a two pack of those Frappuccino ones at seven. Let's see, those are probably the same cost. Yeah, $4.47 right there, so we're not going to worry about that. Take a look at some of these other seller storefronts right here. We can see, uh, let's see, are these coming from Walmart as well here? $4 right here. Let's see, 13 okay, let's try Google Shopping specifically right here. Ooh, $1 a piece, okay, interesting. All right, so let's see, this is a four pack here. Let's take a look here. Let's see right here let's see so this is uh yeah 13.99 we can see third party seller in the buy box here let's see so i'm not super familiar with this brand um but at one dollar a piece this looks like a pretty good opportunity here so let's see want to make sure this upc matches as well 843283 let's see oh okay so the upc is different here so um let's see cinnamon apples here uh, apple spruce yes we can see that flavor is a little bit different we could go ahead and actually plug this in though here Let's see, scent, sensationals. Let's see, 
Let's see, applesauce right here. Interesting. Okay, so let's see, scented wax cube, apple spruce. So we're paying $1 a piece. Now, if you're ever unsure if a specific website is legit, it's a really good idea to uh, actually just go ahead and check like the trust pilot, look up their Google My Business profile, um, and then always check out through PayPal as well. That's going to lead to uh, finding good stuff. So let's see, if we plug in a dollar buy cost here, we'd make about 88 cents in profit here after everything. Problem is that profit being a little bit too low there. So not going to worry about that. Let's see, $6 right here, Better Home and Gardens. I think this is another Walmart brand. Let's see if we plug this in here, we can see, yeah, two bucks a piece right here. So that'd be about eight for a four pack. Not quite going to be good here. Let's see more better homes. And you start to memorize like the retail price and such too. So we can see, yeah, five bucks. Um, is this a four pack though? That's a four pack that's in stock. Interesting. Okay, cool. All right, sweet. So this is actually totally profitable here. So check this out. Um, so five bucks at Walmart right here, right? And we can see going for about 16 right here. So if we plug in. $5 right here, right? We make about five bucks profit a piece. Um, it's not bad whatsoever, honestly, here. And then what we'd want to do, take a look at the Keepa chart here. Like I said, in general, you're probably going to want to be using the Keepa Chrome extension as well. If you're, if you're on a budget, start out just using Selleramp. Um, right here, so we can see uh, buying for 17. That buy box line, which is where we're looking on the Keepa chart right here, is not bad. We could also go ahead and open up the uh, Selleramp web app here as well. And we can see Buying for five dollars on Walmart, going for about seventeen. It's about four bucks profit a piece. Um, not bad whatsoever on that uh, specific product here. Um, just going FBA and such. We can see not a bad situation whatsoever here. Unfortunately, this item is out of stock. So what I would want to do in this case is go ahead and actually export this to an out of stock spreadsheet on Selleramp, so I can track this lead over time. So all I need to do is one click export this out. And now I'm going to have that on a spreadsheet that I can go ahead and check, you know, once a week or once a month in case it comes back in stock and then becomes nice and profitable once again. So we can see that's an example of a profitable product that's just out of stock. Let's find one that's profitable. It's in stock here. Let's see. Okay. But it cost, let's see, pack of 50 here. Let's see. Oh, once again, damn, another lead that's uh, going to be, yeah, uh, five each. Like, see, there's five of these in here. Buy cost is 10.99 here. Let's see. So buy cost ten ninety nine here. Assuming that actually is a five pack, which I think it is here. Um, say it's about eleven bucks here. Once again, nice and profitable. Just unfortunately going to be the kind of thing that's out of stock. Um, so we're not going to worry about that. If you're a beginner, that actually doesn't happen super often. I think this seller is actually just pretty good at sourcing stuff that uh, is about to go out of stock, basically. Um, let's see, chestnut here, tone set paint. Let's see, nice Walmart link here as well. Interesting. So let's see. Oh, they have a bunch of these colors here. So what? This might actually be as putting together a set of these products. So let's see, uh, 0.58, if we go ahead and multiply that by six here, we can see uh, the profit unit's actually not bad, assuming we could assemble the correct colors here. Let's see, like Apple Barrel, um, let's see. Yeah, Territorial Beige, Khaki, et cetera, right? Let's see, yeah, there's, okay, you probably actually can find these because there's tons of different colors here. This would also be a very cash flow efficient type of uh, category as well, because I believe, uh, People probably don't return paint super often here. So we can see. Um, this is not bad. If we Walmart credit card this down the line, you'd be able to get another 5% um, off on that. So we can see. Spend $3 uh, about to make uh, $3 back uh, profit on top of that. Not a bad situation. Kind of thing some people would take. Um, I think this is like a nice replenishable type of product here. Taking a look at this Kiva chart. Yeah, check that out. So this has actually been nice and profitable over time here. So this is the kind of example of a product that's uh, not bad. Ideally, as a beginner, you probably wouldn't be selling big sets of products, but long term, that's a really nice, stable Kiva chart. We can see and that's an example of a profitable product here. So this is the type of seller we want to be taking a look at here, guys. Like this person, you know, we know is making money here, right? And once again, yeah, another example, um, just out of stock there. Looks like a lot of these ones are out of stock. That's a link I'd probably track over time for sure. Let's see, Better Homes, Cheesecake. Let's see, I want to pay. Okay, Cheesecake Wild Berry here. Let's see. Yeah, five bucks once again. So like pretty much all those are out of stock. So we can see probably a pretty good situation there. We're not going to take a look at any more from that brand. Let's see. Yankee Candle here. Uh, max cost is $4.48 for the two pack. Let's go ahead and plug this in on Google here. Let's see. Five dollars. Yeah, for each. So Yankee Candle, is there any sort of Easter sale going on right now? 50 off 100. Okay. All right. Interesting. So we can see. So we can pick this up. If we can get about 50% 50, 50 off here. Right, I don't think those will stack together. So we're paying about five fifty right here. So let's see, five fifty into fifteen about, and 
key here, guys, is this is an FBM buy box. So we know as FBA stars, we should be able to price above that as well. So I'd see, is the buy box going higher at all? We can see that it, yeah, totally is here. 15, 15, 50, et cetera. And uh, we can see competition starting to level off here too. We can see, yeah, people have made money at this buy cost here. So let's see, if we're getting about 50% off on here, yeah, warm Lux cashmere. So at 550 here, right? We're already making two bucks a piece. That's not a bad profit if you can make, you know, 100 bucks profit or 150 bucks profit a month off these, just selling like two a day, you know? But we can see, taking a look down here at the Cuba chart, guys, we can see it's been even more profitable in the past, back in February, close to like 18. So this is the kind of thing that you would want to totally track over time. And maybe if you found this on your own, go ahead and test a product like this, but definitely be able to take a look at it over time here, right? So you see how just in this one storefront, we found a lot of potentially good opportunities. And the nice thing is, guys, too, Every storefront you find is more products to go ahead and potentially look through because each winning product you find is more storefronts. And then it's just uh, you know, a loop you just end up going through where over time you learn your favorite brands, you learn your favorite products, and you learn where they come from. So we can see that's an example of a nice profitable product that's good today. Spend about $5.50, make two, bu two bucks back profit, and has been nice and profitable over time. And gives us a bunch of new storefronts to then go ahead and take a look at here too. So we can see these other storefronts that are carrying this product. Now we see tons of examples of new reseller friendly brands to go out and take a look at and you know, new categories and such right here. We can see sellers got this stuff going on and such. So that's a baseline of storefront stalking, which is by far the cheapest way to do it as a beginner, as well as using SellerAmp to actually go out and do that. You can get a free trial of SellerAmp on our website, selleramp.com. And then I'm gonna leave the link to my full SellerAmp tutorial right here and my full Keepa tutorial right here. Keepa is gonna be something you're gonna wanna use. For the most part, however, if you're a beginner on a budget, just start it using Selleram because you can use it for all in arbitrage and retail arbitrage scanning products in store. If you have any questions, let me know down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.